Hi everybody, welcome to April. Um, April's Tuesday Tips, we're going to be talking about crisis communication. So today I wanted to introduce the topic and specifically talking about how do you plan for a crisis. I'm going to give you five tips. Um, the first is, when you're planning for a crisis, the first thing you need to do is you need to have all the background information that you need. So if you're an in-house communications person or consulting to a, a company, you need to interview as many people as you can. You need to gather all the information you need because your plan's only going to be as good as the information that you have. So you have to encourage people you're talking to, you know, no skeletons in the closet. We need to know it all in order to have a really great plan. Then the second um, tip is to do your plan and think of all the different scenarios in whatever crisis you're planning for, that, which, you know, these different scenarios that can happen and plan for each one. Write it down. How are you going to respond when that crisis hits? The third um, tip is then how, you know, a big part of a crisis comms plan is how do you handle the media? So, you know, if you, a media, if worst case happens and a media uh, person gives you a call, what are you going to say? Who's the person that's going to talk? You should have one spokesperson for a crisis. Um, has, has that person been well trained? Do they have media training? If not, get a media training real quickly and that's part of your plan. So think about how you're going to respond to the media. And these days, that also includes social media, a huge part of crisis communications planning now. Um, you need to be you know, monitoring well ahead of any crisis your social media channels, what's happening on it, what are people saying, so that if a crisis happens tomorrow, you have everything in hand to be able to monitor that, see what's going on, and part of your plan is how are we going to respond to anything that might happen in social media. And then my final tip for the day is then just once you've got that plan, run through it. A lot of companies, um, you know, they put together simulations for different crises that might happen in their businesses. So don't be afraid to do that and involve everybody that, that will be part of a crisis if it happens. And that might include people in your company as well as maybe suppliers or, or other people that consult to your company that might be involved in, if the worst case happens. So yeah, definitely always have a plan and then um, do a simulation and, and see how it goes. And then you can always tweak it and make sure you're ready. So there you go, crisis communication, and uh, we'll be back next week with some more tips on that.